today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. picking up where we left off yesterday at Heart of Ohio Antique Mall and we are searching for all of the treasures that we can buy and flip for a profit. We've done pretty well these past two days of filming and uh, we're gonna find some more today so here we go. Here we've got a little Turtle Creek Pottery elephant and it is $12. So it's redware. It's folk art redware I guess you could say and I think we're gonna, we're gonna take this with us. Well, I thought this looked familiar, <laughs> and that's because we got one of these not too long ago at uh, Lemoyne, and it had birds on it. It was blue, and it was marked on the bottom, Dalton Burslem, which is early Royal Dalton. Um, this one is yellow with flowers on it. It's a really nice piece. I'm trying to figure out, do you think that's a crack right there, or is that just a scratch? You see it here? It doesn't quite, it just, it kind of does this weird, I think it's a scratch. It's a very rough texture, and it was a patent they had for this texture, and I forgot. It's a, um, a, a textile texture. I think it's what they called it. Can't really tell. I, I, I don't like it, though. I don't feel good about it. I feel good about it. Not at that price. I feel good about it. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I think that's really adorable. She's painting the cats black because she's a witch. It's a thing. It's a peach. It's three dimensional. It's like felted. Felt art peach. Girl. What? Oh my gosh. $45. This is like weird. And it's so weird that I'm strangely attracted to it. It's three dimensional. And it's signed real crazy on the back. Whimsy by Darren Hoover. That must be the artist. That's weird enough that I think I'm going to do it. Weird sells. You know, I say that and it does. It does. Weird sells. And that's weird enough that it's cool. So now that we're coming to the end of this, what I'm doing is I'm walking through and I'm really just scanning the booths. If I spot something I like, I'm going into the booth. In this case, I spotted this face at the very end of the booth. And it is $65. Wow. Only $65. Royal Mori Nippon. Hmm. I really love the heavy Moriyagi. I guess that's what it says, Moriyagi. That's supposed to say Moriyagi, I guess. Only $65 for that. Um, typically we get over 100 for pieces with heavy Moriyagi. <laughs> so, um, I think that's a good piece for $65. we are going to take that with us. It's 10% off as well. Everything over $20 is 10% off. Look at that dog back there. He's a Viking dog. He's Blue Neek, I believe. Viking Epic Blue Dog. $150. Ooh. That's a nice fish. Murano, Murano fish is 65 and the Viking dog is 150. What? Oh, look at the pelican back there and the duck. If only they were colored. Oh my gosh, I love that fish. I don't know, we just haven't had the best luck with fish. Just sold for 280. 
They've got it for one fifty, and it's ten percent off. Scarce, nineteen sixty four, and this one has its original label. Well, this, this one. one's fatter than this one. This one's like a no, dog on a diet. No, it's not. It's the same dog. Your perception's off. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Here you go. 1965 Viking catalog was the only something something. Basically, 8 inch dog is the second most elusive of the dogs, but we found it here. More elusive than the lime peel. Actually, the lime peel is proving to be more elusive than this. I was determined that we were going to find it today, and so far that's not the case. He is super cute. I've never seen one of those before, so. I guess my instinct was correct on that one. Second of the scarcest of the dogs. He might go into my Viking collection. <laughs> no, just kidding. You're very impressed with this display. Yeah, that's a great idea for coins for a big showcase like this. I almost walked away from you, little duckling. It's a little armored duck. Um, Sergio Bustamante is known for these little armored ducks. However, there are uh, other artists making them now, so I'm not sure if this is a Sergio Bustamante piece. Most of his pieces are signed. However, um, this could be a really good uh, Mexican folk art piece. So, in any case, it's really well painted, really nicely done. Um, it could even be Ken Edwards. So, I think we're going to buy it for 20 bucks. I like it. Well, we've been waiting for Andrew. I also noticed this little... Uh, Millefiore necklace. It's ten dollars and it's got a barrel clasp. Um, so I think we're gonna grab that as well because they are on their way with the keys. All right, walking by this booth. No, not fifteen bucks. What's wrong with them? Ninety-eight seventy-five. <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> That's still a good price for him, though. Okay, and then he's ten percent off. So you figure he's like ninety bucks. I can't believe you did that to me. I was like, nah. I, I, I oh. oh. I walked in here so fast, like I was like, no way. You gotta get your exercise somehow. I've been walking around this antique mall all day long. I'll get you moving. My goodness gracious. Don't worry, I'll get you moving. This is just like the one that I have on our dresser at home. Oh yeah. It is. I remember the last one at auction I couldn't I couldn't do anything with because you got too high. But at 10% off, there's enough wiggle room there that I I have a weakness for Alleycats. <laughs> and for those of you who are not regulars with the channel, this is a Fenton Alley cat. Rare Fenton Alley cat. No, rare Fenton something something cat. It's a Fenton Alley cat. He's winking. He's, um, he's fantastic. <laughs> Look at his little red wagon. Okay, well our total spend here today was a grand total of $1,200. <laughs> that was over the course of three videos. And I feel like we got some really, really great stuff. We're gonna have no problem making, making money on the items that we purchased. And um, I can't wait to see, to see how they do. I'm excited for this. I feel like, I mean, that, that Dalton piece was probably one of my favorite, like, hidden pieces. Um, but uh, also that felt piece and the moss lamp. I mean, everything was really exciting. So I think we're getting out of here now. We did the entire mall. I know there's stuff we missed because it was just, like, overload. Total overload. There was stuff in cases, stuff in the booths, stuff everywhere. So I'm just going to dig through your purse while you do that. <sighs> That's fine. You can do that. Don't mind me. Yeah, he's digging through my purse right Ew, now. Ew, what is that? It could be melted chapstick because I left it in the car. Something slimy. Yeah, that's probably what it is. But anyway, uh, we're going to get out of here now. We're going to go grab dinner. And uh, we will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.